Hey, it's James Taylor from the Music Business Institute and in this video I'm going to take you through how to create your own YouTube channel. In this video, in this lesson, I'm just going to go through how to actually create a YouTube channel. So if you're a music artist, if you're a band, the actual process uh, of going doing this. Now before we kind of get into, um, into things, uh, I'll take you through step by step. A couple of things to mention. One is that there have been some recent changes on how this works. In fact, YouTube is always changing um, how you set up these channels. So, um, so hopefully this this one is going to be pretty up to date. But uh, you may no notice little changes, little um, slight differences in, in what I'm going to be doing just now compared to what you might be seeing on the screen. But but hopefully this is going to be good for for a good long while. So the other thing is a YouTube channel v um, a YouTube uh, account or YouTube profile. The two different things. Um, if you uh, have a YouTube account just now, chances are that it's going to be a YouTube um, profile and not a YouTube channel. Now, YouTube profiles are absolutely fine. Uh, they're really designed for individuals and they're absolutely fine if you just want to watch content and to subscribe to content. But really, if you're wanting to build a brand and build a brand online, you want to be setting up a channel as opposed to a profile. You can continue, you know, have your your, your profile, but you want to be setting up a channel that's specifically around you and uh, and your music. So, this is what I'm going to be showing you just now how to do. The other thing with the YouTube um, channel is that uh, you can really make sure that it's linked to your Google Plus account, and that can uh, that can help from an SEO perspective. And there's a couple of other good reasons you want to probably be doing that. So. Um, if you already have a channel, uh, there's a separate process you can go through to actually just associate that channel with your uh, Google account. Um, but I'm going to take this through from the process that all you have just now is you might have a, a, a Google address, a Gmail, email, um, or some basic other account. I'm just going to actually show you how to do this just now. So, so the first thing you want to be, be at is YouTube.com. And then from there, you want to go over to the sign in button. And just click on sign in now obviously i've got a couple of different accounts that, that i work with so i'm just going to choose one of these accounts if you don't have an account and it, this it may already come up with a um you know uh you know enter your uh, enter your account because you'll create a new account you just go and create a new account so if if uh, if you already have an account and maybe this is not necessarily the account you want your channel associated with you can always add an account as well but in this case i'm just going to go i already have um, a, a google account set up so I'm just going to go and click on that and then it will just sign in and uh, you can sign in with different accounts here as well. So we're just going to sign in with this account. Now the next thing that's going to happen here is it's going to take me through to my main um, my main account, um, I mean uh, really profile. But I'm going to be going up here to the top right hand corner and just clicking on uh, the image and you'll see, a, you can see here I've got a couple of uh, different channels, test channels I've set up already. So you just go to where it says the little... Um, little button here says YouTube settings just click on this and then once you get through to that you'll notice a couple of things now this is kind of where you associate your you can associate your account with your Google Plus account um, if you don't have any channel set up then uh, you, you're likely just to see uh, create a new channel I've got obviously a couple of channels already set up test channels here and um, so in which case you're gonna see either see all my channels or create a new channel so you're just gonna go and click on that button there and then you can see I've got a couple of other channels, test ones I already set up. So now I'm going to create a new channel. So I just go and click on create a new channel. Then you name your channel. So let's call this, um, let's call this the big band. And then we're going to select a category. Now, there's a couple of things you can do here. If 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 you're um, really just what you class as a a brand but you're not maybe you do other things apart from music you may choose to set up different channels for each of your different parts of your brand so let's say if you're um you you write books and also you're a, a music artist then you might be inclined to set up a, a different channels for each of those things in which case one of them might be under you know product or brand and the other one might be under arts entertainment or sport but for the most common is you're just going to Create the name for your you or your brand, so you know Joe Blogs or the Big Band if it's, if it's a band, and then just click on the Arts, Entertainment, or Sports one, and then you agree to the page terms, and then just click Done. And now what's going to take you through to next is the actual um, page itself, and uh, you don't see that that you, you'll just probably just go straight through to um, the this page here itself so with um, the big band now that we're on the, 
this uh, this created uh, uh, YouTube channel, The Big Band. Um, I'll, I'll just take you through a couple of the very basic things. That, uh, on a subsequent video, I actually can take you through actually how to really design your channel, optimize your channel. But on this one, I'll just take you through some what the, what the basic settings are here. So obviously with your, your home, there's lots of different ways that you can configure this and uh, you really want to set it up so it's really easy for people to continue to stay on your channel for a long period of time and really go in depth into your channel. Um, you obviously have videos here. These are usually all your uploaded videos that you've, that you've had. You'll have playlists um, or your own playlist and other, and other playlists that you've created from other uh, channels or other um, profiles. You have channels, so sometimes what you'll do is, let's say if you're an artist that has maybe a couple of different channels, you've got a channel for your ba band, another one for your solo work, um, then you might have all these different ones here. You've got discussion and then about. Now obviously, all this is uh, is completely empty just now, because what I'll do is in subsequent videos, I'll actually take you through how to do that, but at least this gives you a chance, just go on just now, create your YouTube channel, it's really quick, you, as you saw that it took like about five minutes to be able to do that. So uh, go on just now and create your YouTube channel.